unfortunately I will be here for the next five days on reserve. Well, hopefully I'll get a trip because hotels here are super expensive and I cannot afford <laughs> to be paying for a hotel every single night. I think this is about the only time in life when you actually want to work because otherwise you're just spending money and not making money and that's not cool with me. So we're gonna get a trip tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get a four day and I won't have to continue to pay for a hotel. It's about 8.30. I'm actually not on call until 10 a.m. tomorrow and they have me scheduled to sit at the airport, ready, reserve, standby, whatever you wanna call it. That's gonna start at 3 p.m. So I don't have to wake up super early, that's nice. And I'm just happy that I made it here because all of the flights were super full. They were oversold. I did not have high hopes, but I made it. I had to jump seat, but that's fine. And it was a short flight. We made it, all good. And now I definitely need to eat dinner because I'm literally starving. So we have an unfortunate dilemma because I brought pasta and there's no microwave. Maybe I'll go look around. I don't know, I don't really feel like it. So I might just eat cold pasta. Pasta is good cold. <laughs> totally worth going down and heating up my food because it tastes so much better. I don't really know what to do with myself now because I have a lot of time. I feel like I have so much time to just chill. Who knows what the next couple days might bring. I could get the craziest trip of my life so I should be thankful for a chill night and take advantage of it. reserve nightmare we don't know where we are don't know where we're sleeping can barely afford food we're still alive actually five dollars five dollars five dollars that's all i got in my account yeah for lunch and dinner good morning it is day three of reserve and when i tell you it has been crazy i'm not even kidding and it hasn't even been crazy for the good reasons like i haven't even been working I wish more than anything right now that I would be working and that I would have a trip because then I would have a place to stay. But because I haven't been working and I don't have a crash pad, I've just been jumping from hotel to hotel every single night. I don't know where I'm sleeping until the last second. It's very stressful. It's very expensive, but there's honestly nothing I can do right now. I kind of just have to get through this week and then hopefully figure something out for the next month. And at least it's only one month. I just have to survive one month, so hopefully I can find a crash pad or an apartment to share with everybody and just make it work for the next month. But this week has been crazy so far. I have not been sleeping great. That's really just life on reserve, especially when you first get started. It takes a while to get used to it. It's very weird to know that you're here for work, but you're not really working. Like, what do you do with yourself? Yesterday, we took the metro to the Arlington National Cemetery, and that was gorgeous. It's kind of eerie to think something like that is gorgeous, but it really is the way that everything is lined up perfectly. The trees are beautiful. It was just so peaceful. And now today, we'll go on another adventure. Other than that, we have to just sit around and wait for a phone call. And it doesn't really seem like that's happening, so we're just trying to make the most of it. I need a tripod. I can't hold it far enough. I got you, hold on. Extendo arms. Go, stop, pop that. Ow, 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 ow. Riding on the metro by taking some. failed at vlogging and I'm sorry but <laughs> life has been crazy and we have a lot to catch up on. This is going to be the weirdest vlog. It's going to be many days put into one vlog because I just haven't been vlogging enough. I haven't been home to even edit a vlog so I figured I would just keep it going. 
it's gonna be random but that's honestly what my life is like right now it's random <laughs> so it is what it is but i'm gonna update you later i'm currently in pensacola i have to work three flights today three three flights today and when i get on the ground in dc i will update you on all the things that have happened over the past two weeks almost three weeks yeah it's been crazy so i don't know what happened but everything that i recorded in this vlog is from like a month ago i just haven't been vlogging i haven't felt like vlogging i think that commuting to and from dc it, it was just a lot it was too much i've also just been living life a lot has happened in the past month so we definitely need to catch up, but I'm not going to do that in this vlog. I will do it in the next vlog because we just need to have a chat anyway. So I will save that chat for the next vlog. But now I am based in Charlotte. It's a lot easier. I don't have to commute and I would like to start making regular vlogs again. So hopefully I can do that. I know this vlog was super random. I almost didn't want to post it because it was just too random. I felt like it really was... A terrible vlog but honestly it's just reality and like life can be kind of wild and sometimes it's really hard to record your life and like piece it together so I tried I hope you enjoyed it as you can see right now I'm just chilling at home I enjoyed a couple days off and now starting tomorrow I have my first reserve period at Charlotte so we'll see how that goes I am expecting to work quite a bit but I could be wrong. It's always a mystery. We're gonna find out. But I'm available for five days and tomorrow I actually have to sit at the airport. So I'm expecting I will get a trip and then they'll just work me the full five days. If I had to guess. We're gonna find out together because I'm definitely gonna take you along. I'm so sorry <laughs> that I have been failing at vlogging. I'm gonna try to get better. But thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And also, thank you to those of you who have come up to me in the airport and said hello. Like, that is the craziest thing that you are seeing me and recognizing me from YouTube and just, it blows my mind. And I think when you come up to me, I'm like, I'm in shock. So I'm sorry if I seem like a little bit like, what? When you come up to me, but it's just, it's crazy. I can't believe it. But if you see me in the airport and you recognize me, please come say hi. It is the coolest thing ever. But thank you so much for watching this crazy random vlog. I will see you next time with a vlog about my next five days on reserve. So we're going to see how that goes. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.